peace and blessings family all glory given to yah for he is worthy he is worthy of your prayer he is worthy of all of your submission to him so he can glorify himself through you my brothers and sisters it seems like all glory given unto yah for he is a worthy god it seems like recently of the things that i have been seeing and you know a lot of my sisters out there they're gonna be mad at me for what i gotta say but that's okay if i'm giving you the truth then accept it uh i never ever ever wanted anybody to accept every single word that i say some of the things that i talk about i would like for you to do your research and look these things up but i understand that it's a lot of things that i say that i'm opening up myself to you to put myself on display to be mocked and ridiculed and scorned by the world the word and the people because honestly they really don't believe that god talks to different people you know what i'm saying they don't they don't believe in the word itself either you're going to gravitate to this word and believe what it say and have faith in it now a lot of my older brothers they get they get mad at women preachers why why is it why is it because nowadays you have a lot of people out in they they study the word for all of these years but you have to you have to imagine that the word of god is a stumbling block to some people they are supposed to fight against the word family so i just want all my brothers and sisters to be aware because i see a lot of females online and this is why this is why don't get me wrong there's a lot of black women online preaching the word of god i couldn't right hand family right hand to zion i don't see nothing wrong with what they're doing as long as they're catering and the audience is for women you have to imagine the woman is the first line of defense and actual teaching people about god it is the woman's job to teach her family and to teach other women about god it is a woman's job to preach the word to all these little boys and all these little girls to preach to their other sisters of how god doesn't want them to be excuse me to be a harlot to be a jezebel to be so lucid with their sex and to uh tell another woman to preach to another woman how is it important for her to have a covering above her head but and nowadays in 2023 i see all these different women going against god's word why is that is it's no different than what his word said he said his word will be a stumbling block to some people some people are not supposed to understand the word of god so if some people is not supposed to understand the word of god why are they preaching it so you have so many different um, females online and they claim they claim to have the Holy Spirit that's teaching and directing them. But they don't because they go against the word of God. I heard a woman online on, uh, on TikTok and she was calling the apostles homosexuals family you know what i'm saying almost, she was sitting there and she was referencing to uh paul and timothy as if they were homosexual male you know what i'm saying so to me that woman she doesn't believe in the word of god she should not sit there and try to get plant seeds of division and confusion into people's mind and that's what you see a lot of women doing this is why women are not supposed to preach to men and they're not supposed to subsert their authority over a man this is why because they do not understand the word of god i'm not saying i'm not sitting here saying that all women and the whole world is not touched by the Holy Spirit and he's not leading them and directing them. But it is a lot of brothers. I, I got to throw my brothers in this too. It's a lot of my brothers out there that wants to give you the seed of doubt of confusion because they themselves do not understand the word of God or have a ear to hear or have faith in. And it's holiness, family. You see your brother right here. And to the day I die, I'm going to be believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shouts out to Mr. Watson. He knows that I do my research. So Mr. Watson, he went ahead and he bought me the Quran. Now, I'm going to read this book, family. I might even take my time into reading it to understand it. But I do not believe in Islam, family. I don't, family.
I don't at all. I do it for research so I can understand the, the mindsets and state of minds of other people, family. I don't do this to gain my faith. I already have faith in the Most High Yah, family. Until the day I die, I'm going to believe in Him. I'm going to have trust in Him. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait on Him, family. So He can bless me and so He can use me and He can show purpose forth in my life by actually doing His will. I'm up early this morning time waiting on this young cat. Because I, I found his, his wallet, family. And it's crazy, family. I have found so much since I've been in Chicago, family. All over the place. I done found so much money that I done tried to help people with. I done found so many different wallets. And in his wallet, he got all this information. I'm not a scammer, family. I work hard for my money. I go to work all the time, family. This is how I'm able to provide for myself. Because my God, he gives me the endurance spirit, family. I've been working ever since I was six years old, family. I don't have to sit up here and lie to anybody, family. I've been working hard ever since I was little. So your God, he gives me energy. He gives me power and he gives me strength to keep on going. That's how I'm able to provide for myself, family. I'm a working class man. So since I've been out here, I didn't found at least like seven or eight people wallets, family. I'm not a scammer. I'm not going to take they and they got money in the wallet too you know what i'm saying i'm not even on nothing like that family because if somebody ever if they ever if they ever found my wallet and this this young kid he like 26 years old all this information is up in there do you know how hard it is to get all your credit cards you got to wait two three weeks just to get your credit card you got to get your driver's license to get pass to work all of these things that take a long time so i understand you know what i'm saying and it doesn't even matter that he's outside of my race it's the right thing to do family that's why i'm up here waiting on this cat early in this morning time waiting for him to get here so i could give him his wallet so i could go about my day i remember the older brother the older brother i'm five nine family I weigh about 172 pounds, family. I'm not a little man, you know what I'm saying? But the other dude, when I was at uh when I was at work and I found his wallet, the man, the brother, the older brother, he stood like 6'2 and he weighed a little like at least like 250. This older black man, when I gave him his wallet, family, he snatched me up, family. I ain't never been snatched up before, family. I'm not light. I'm not little, family. I'm not a little man. <laughs> I'm not a little man, family. But that brother, the, the truck driver brother, he was so happy. He was like, man, I, I came back. And it's by the glory and through the grace of God that you found my wallet. Because I couldn't even make it back home to Texas. I didn't have no money. I didn't have no ID. I didn't have no wallet. And I don't do good deeds so I can be blessed by God. I, I don't. I do it because it's the right thing to do, family. It's the right way to go about doing things. That man snatched me up so fast, gave me the biggest bear hug. Like, oh, little brother, oh, thank you so much for saving me. He tried to give me money, but it's not about the money, family. It is not, family. Just like the young cat that come, family. Now, I ain't gonna lie, family. I have to drive over here, so... He gonna have to get put some at least ten dollars in my gas tank, family, for me coming all the way out here, family. But your brother, I'm just trying to to live my life and do things in the way that my God wants me to do, and He wants me to be holy. He wants me to be righteous, and it's a beautiful thing when you can ask God to guide your footsteps. That lets you know that you are not alone. Back to you can call them false prophets too, family. Back to the false prophets from black men, the black women, anybody that wants to plant a seed of division inside of your heart, family, I, I, I don't really care. I don't really care who they are, family, if they're black. If they white, if they're a man, if they're a woman, you must understand, family, that they use they use it almost like like a sheep, like a wolf in sheep clothing, family. They, they enter your life with the word of God. Then they start planting all these seeds of doubt and all these seeds of division to get you away from the mind of God, family. Anybody, any black man or any black woman that would go against the word of God, they're an abomination to me and they're a false prophet. And God is only going to give them since they blaspheme 
the Holy One of Israel, he's only going to let them do that for a certain amount of time. And all these different people that you see online that go against God, you will see them fall in your lifetime. You will see the most baddest scenarios of a horrific events happen to him and then y'all sit up there and y'all be like oh i don't know why that happened to him they was going against god family they was planting all them seeds of division inside of your heart over his word god doesn't like that and you don't have to believe my word for it you will see his hand and act a judgment on all those different individuals family let's put it right now at right now they at the top they high right now they all the way at the top right now they got influence they got pulled but it's only a certain amount of time that god is going to allow these people to speak then you'll start seeing then you'll start seeing all of the uh all of the curses fall on them from the things that they are doing and the things that they have said about his highest so i just want you to be aware family you you have to imagine anything that is negative in this world is pushed is pushed and it is glorified so you have to imagine that family a lot of these people that are on the top they got all these subscribers and all of these viewers they themselves are agents of darkness family they are the seed of satan anybody who would talk a bad against god it is good to sit there and think about the scriptures but when you grow a disdain in your in your heart over the matters the the women nowadays family <clears throat> the patriarchy they are so damn disgusted that a man is over their head that they're doing all of these fighting but if a woman can't have a man over her head then how can that woman accept god the law was given to adam not to a woman it is man's job to tell people what god is saying that's our job so not all of us family because some of us are crooked some of us are wicked some of us are evil some of us have all these different plethors of agendas and doctrines that they want to push forth on the masses of people okay we know that not all people are supposed to preach but his elected his chosen men that's on this world it's chosen women too family i'm not gonna sit up here and say it's not a, a chosen prophetess a, 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 ch a chosen priestess a, a chosen queen that's not supposed to be out here doing what she's doing but it is a lot of my brothers and sisters out here sowing the seed of contention of strife against the most high yah anyone that would go against his word i want you to stop listening to them family it is okay to get his word and ponder and think that's what we're supposed to do when we read scriptures family we supposed to think family Joseph was thrown, Joseph was, was captured by his brothers, beat up, thrown down a hole, sold to the Ishmaelites, and they and then he was taken to Egypt, and then he was sold to the Egyptians to Potiphar in his house, and then he was lied on once more again and thrown in another dungeon. We are supposed to think about these things, family. All of these different I can't even call it a story. The happenings that happened to our people so long ago. We're supposed to think about it. But we're not supposed to grow a disdain in our in our heart. Like me sitting there thinking about Jesus on the cross, family. I'm not supposed to sit up there and come up with all of this stuff in my head. He's the son of God. Won't he save himself? That's the same things that the people were saying that mercy that, that killed him, family. That lynched him, that hanged him, that killed him upon that tree. That's the same thing, family. Growing a disdain and a hatred in your side of your heart for the most high y'all. Yeah, just know and understand that not all people that talk about God is for God, family. And a, a lot of them will fall. So I would suggest to all my brothers and sisters to clean your hands, family. Wash your hands clean of all these people that want to sow the seeds of, of, of discord, the seeds of confusion, the seeds of strife inside of your heart that I have you going against the most high. Yeah, I don't like it, family. And I want you to be aware that there are wolves and sheep clothing out here in the street, family. And it is their job to get you to try to turn your heart away from God. They talk a good talk. They, they got the best clothes. They got the best house. They got all the money, family. They got all the money. They got all the fame. They got all the fortune. But the last time I looked and I checked my master, he was a carpenter. And 
he didn't even really have money like that family he was broke family you know what i'm saying jesus was broke family they could say oh well the people put money and they gave it to judas and he kept it in the box and this and this but he still turned around and gave that money to feed the poor jesus was broke family he didn't have no house family he was, he was still staying he was he was sold up sold up okay they don't speak of the 20 to 15 years that jesus became from a young man a young boy into a man but his trait was a carpenter family so your lord was sitting up there he was building houses he was fixing wagons he was fixing furniture you know what i'm saying your lord was doing all of this and at the same time he was worshiping god poor family poor family when the devil wants to use you he'll put you right at the top family these people they got all the seniority they got all the money they got all the fame they got all the clout they got all the people paying attention to them so i just want you to know and understand family that there are wolves and sheep clothing out using god word to benefit them only and at the same time discrediting him and then putting seeds of discord and strife and confusion into other people so i just want you to be on aware your brother Israel, I got to go ahead and get out of here for tonight. Shouts out to the 9 o'clock prayer warriors. Shouts out to the 9 o'clock prayer healers. Shouts out to the 9 o'clock prayer saints. You want to do something from your brother in the real world. Come pray for your family. Come for your family. Your family need these prayers, family. I'm trying to tell you, family. You sowing the seed of your prayers going to change a lot of the different people that is in your life that are lost and gone astray, family. So you want to do something for your brother Israel? Come join us for this 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes of prayer at 9 o'clock. But until next time, family. Until next time, all glory given to us high. Thank him for the day that he has breathed life into you. Ask him to, to guide your footsteps and help you in your life and be real with him. Because we can't lie and we're naked in his eyes.